and my daughter is now 16 months old. Yesterday, uh, I had the whole day with her. So we went to like the Boston Children's Museum together. We went to the play yard in our neighborhood a couple times, took her out to barbecue. <laughs> we split a pulled pork sandwich together. And just like watching her get excited about eating barbecue for the first time, or like seeing the look on her face when she looked outside a window and realized that she was three fours up and looking out into Boston Harbor. I know what the world looked like up until Emma came along, and now she's reframing everything for me. I've lived in Boston for six years and I've never seen it through the eyes of a kid. And now I, I find myself looking up at treetops and looking up at skyscrapers and looking down at the water whenever I'm crossing bridges because of her. So that's what she gravitates towards. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the joy of my life now. My absolute happiest is walking through the forest and hiking, hiking up mountains. I think it's the combination of the physical activity and you, you're, it's meditative, you feel your heartbeat, it, you're out in nature, and I feel like you're more aware and more uh, present. And there's something incredibly beautiful about being in the middle of a forest and walking towards a goal and you know, looking up, you see the light sometimes trickling through the, the trees and you know, the leaves and just the colors of, the, of green are so beautiful. And um, when you get to the top, of course, the view is always the, you know, it's like the, the dessert. And whether hiking with friends or family, I just find it such a joyful event. It feels so calming and it's really lovely. And it's something about it. It's really sort of grounding and really a lovely time to connect with others and to, to be outdoors and contemplate. Talk is my life. Like, I, I can't really phrase it any other way than that. Like, I've been raised by soccer. I've been brought to Manhattan through soccer. Uh, I started playing soccer at four, so it's a lifelong commitment. It, it makes me happy. Yeah, it does. Because I'm, I'm happy to develop through a sport that's helped me develop. There are so many leadership qualities, so many personality development qualities that come through being an athlete and being a soccer player. It's always brought me to a place of multicultural identity. Like I say, I'm a black kid raised Mexican. None of my family is Spanish, none of my family is Spanish speaking. They're all black American. But because I played the most global sport, I was tossed into the arena of Latin American influence because I was born in Southern California. And soccer in Southern California is very Mexican dominated. Mm -hmm. And the club I happened to play for, none of my coaches spoke English, none of my teammates spoke English. So I was, I was raised as a Latin American in that form and fashion, I did feel. And seeing that culture so, so deeply was like mad cool to me. I got to go to Tijuana, I got to go to a few other countries, Rome, like, just being able to travel with such an amazing sport has made me happy. Like, happiness is a beautiful thing because happiness is what you enjoy. And I enjoy football. I enjoy soccer. Oh, definitely music. I have played violin since I was little and playing music is a huge part of my life. I play in an orchestra in Boston. So both playing music, playing chamber music, playing in an orchestra, but then also just listening to music, going to live musical performances, I think for me is really a key part of what, what makes me happy. It's a no-brainer. We had 175 people, and like part of it was just like, we wanted it to be like a, a celebration of all the people that got us in a position for my wife and I to find each other and, and to celebrate, you know, like our, our relationship. And part of that was that we got married late. Like we were both in our mid-30s. So we have lots of friends from growing up, college, grad school, professional life. The other part of it is that like people from around the world came to this wedding. So like my relatives from the Philippines came in, my advisors and my mentors from the UK and from Scotland uh, came in. Uh, my advisors uh, and, and graduate instructors from, uh, from Baltimore were there. And then my whole family was there. And they trusted us to do something like wildly different because I come from a Filipino Catholic family. Erica comes from a Lithuanian Jewish family. And like 
Jews and Catholics have very set ways of doing a marriage ceremony. <laughs> but we were just like, yeah, like let's do something different. So we incorporated like the traditions from that, were, that meant the most to us from those ceremonies. So we got to choose the readings. We come from families of musicians, so all of our musician family members were playing multiple pieces as like the prelude into the ceremony. My sister, who's a musician in LA, like played me down the aisle. It's stuff like that. You can't put a price on that. Early in my life, the best day was passing my internal medicine boards. Oh my god, what a relief that was. I was on cloud nine for sure. But that was really exciting. It was really the, the culmination of my professional sort of academic endeavors. But what made that pale totally in comparison to that was the birth of my, of my first child. Sorry, second child, but this reality. That birth, <laughs> it's a hormonal explosion of oxytocin, which makes you feel great. The beauty in seeing a child born, it's crazy. It was just great. It was just this amazing nine-month process of this, you know, you're cooking this, this being, and then all of a sudden it's just, it's so strange that this person comes out and it's a blank slate. And <laughs> it's really exciting. The happiest day of my life, as I currently recall, was when I signed for Providence College as a Division One soccer player. That was my everything. I was going to pursue my dream, and I was happy because soccer was my life. Mm -hmm. I had done that since I was four. I was just ecstatic that all my family was so happy, that my church family was so happy. I grew up in a Baptist church, and everybody's your family. Like Everybody's your auntie, everybody's your uncle. Everybody was tight and hit. It was one big community. Oh, you're gonna find Division One in the East Coast. Oh, <laughs> gonna be next to New York. Like I was like, yeah. Like I don't know what Providence is, but yeah. <laughs> I was just happy to make everybody happy because mm -hmm. that's who I wanted to make proud. A lot goes into to the happiness that that committing to Providence College brought me and having that and I'm really happy to see where I go after. A lot of happiness to come, I'll say. A lot of happiness to come. Probably the happiest day of my life was the day I had my son. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really music playing <laughs> that day. Um, I think it was such a, an overwhelming experience and so filled with joy. And I mean, I don't know that happy even captures it to meet this little person um, who I had imagined and pictured and wondered about. Um, I think that was probably the happiest day. Although the happiness has increased since then. He actually started playing the cello. He now is 13 and we're able to play together. First time we played duets together was really just a, a wonderful moment to share that with him. and. Um, because it's been so much a part of my life, I think it was really, it was really great. Super fascinating story. The Giants just hired a new executive president of baseball operations. The guy, the guy's like four years older than me. His dad worked for a multinational corporation that was based in the Philippines, so he went to high school in the Philippines, and like, I'm Filipino. <laughs> Then he went to MIT and then to UC Berkeley. He was there in the Bay Area at the same time that I was there. And like, I worked for the Giants front office when I was in college. A couple of different twists of fate, the two rows diverging in the, in the wood thing. Yeah. Like I would have three World Series rings right now. And despite all of that, I'm like, don't fucking regret it. Yeah, yeah, because like, it's a pretty good life that I have now.